hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am showing one of the best browser alternative for chrome or firefox so this browser name is called sidekick here you can download the software from meetsidekick.com so here you have the download now option when you click on this one there will be a confirmation window for downloading so just click on download for windows and uh, choose the location where you want to download it so it's going to be in downloads I, I need it in downloads that's fine and it's only like 65.6 mb let's go back let's see what are the features that we have this is special because uh, this browser we can use it for our work right now the the reason it's specially designed for working environments um, you can see a lot of apps inbuilt apps are there in the browser for example gmail messenger instagram netflix and like different other uh, tools like google sheets docs you can see the what are the um, applications and what are the um, features that you have and you can even add workspace on this one and this is mainly used and loved by teams uh, who are using Dropbox, Microsoft, Slack and a lot of other companies uh, features and it has uh, they are giving the explanation they are giving the Features like slow, poor collaboration, memory consumption, tab clutter, hard to find tabs you need. This is because of the other browsers have these issues. So they are telling that we are not facing any of this issue and we are trying to fix that issue. We already have fixed that issue with, uh, with their browser. One of the, the, main, uh, the main features that they are giving is block trackers and uh, doesn't have any ad based business model. So they are blocking ads completely and trackers and AI based tab suspension um, like say it saves memory by automatically suspending tabs that you don't need at the moment. Improved tab memory management. So it gives a significantly less memory when you work with similar tabs compared to the um, browsing experience in Chrome or Firefox. There is work in apps instead of tabs so you have tabs uh, you have apps for gmail i think this is um slacks um yeah i think it's slacks um then asana i think there is a lot of other uh, um, apps instead of the tabs you don't need to open the uh, browser and visit the website and you can even customize your uh, dashboard like you can have your own apps you can group it so instead of expressing uh, explaining all this stuff let's uh, install and test what are the features that we have so just click on this application that we have downloaded and they are giving block data grabbing apps and respect privacy that's fine so let's install the software and see what are the features we have and just to make sure that whatever that they're, they're telling in their website we have it so it's already installed and opened so right now you can see here what's well open from the console we don't need it as default this interface seems to be similar to Chrome browser you can even see the Chrome uh, settings and all this stuff it's all it's almost similar to the Chrome browser in their interface user interface you can have a set profile here same like uh, we have in Chrome so now let's go to google.com okay now we have um, a message from sidekick 
how we are using for myself or with my team so let's go with with my team option so that um, we can try collaboration and other stuff get started and here we have option to continue with Google or continue with Microsoft so let's um, Oh, we are not going with this one I'm giving the email address here you can if you already have a um, Google account or Microsoft account you can directly continue with uh, with that specific account so right now I'm giving email address manually and I need to continue with the Google provide the password so it's um, giving the name giving the employee um, let's make this one I, I want to be the CEO completely distributed all in the office let's make it completely distributed or yeah this is fine we can even choose partly distributed or in one office let's continue so we need to invite the teammates um, for collaboration right now I'm not adding anyone so just click on add later there, there is a privacy statement doesn't make money by selling your data ads or such that's fine sounds good we can import the bookmark from other browsers um, right now I don't want to import it we can do it later in case and importing is still important for recognized search and function don't worry your history never leaves your device we won't share it then we'll skip import and here we have password data security save 40 minutes start browsing with running to log in again ask your system passwords when you click import below so just skip on this one and you can add apps now you can see uh, these are the apps that is automatically chosen you can just uncheck uh, the items or apps that you don't need and you can just click if you want Microsoft Teams Instagram slacks and all other stuff so let's begin with the, the Gmail Messenger, I don't need it. LinkedIn, Telegram. Um, yeah, Telegram is fine. GitHub. Right now, I don't need Dropbox. I don't need Slacks. So we will test with these four and click on Continue. So it's asking us, uh, asking, uh, asking to wait for setting up Sidekick. Well, let's wait to finish it. So you can see on the left side here you have. Uh, four apps added already like telegram linkedin whatsapp and gmail and you can see your sidekick browser is almost ready that's fine and i don't want it to make it default right now just click on desired later so this is our workspace and this is our workspace and there is an onboarding video it's on youtube you can check that video out uh, by searching in sidekick onboarding video or after you download it it will be there after you signed up with the with an account and customize your profile so as we discussed already apps are there we can switch between multiple accounts easily and these are the shortcuts we have Alt plus S open a global search. Let's try that one. Alt S. Okay, it's opening a global search. Alt Z. Toggle between two most recent tabs. Mm. Alt Z. You can see here automatically toggling. Alt H. Open the help menu in the side car for the shortcuts. So this is the help option. That's fine. Just click Alt Touch again to hide it. 
and here you can go to app settings you can click on app settings here um, I think this is keep looks uh, it seems to be quick books uh, might seem yeah it's keep books or yeah it's keep books I don't we don't need it actually um, we will customize our profile more uh, here I have something I don't need it for example zoom I have slacks is added so we can remove it I'll be discussing more details in coming video I believe this uh, video was helpful to you you can continue this video and once again thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye